reporting in progress. Magandang araw, teammates. Today, I will be sharing with you a specific program that I actually uh, developed using MS Excel, the item analysis. Okay? So, this is the, my item analysis. Actually, I developed this during the academic year 2017-2018. Okay? Just to improve our test questions and test items. Okay? So, based on my discussion about item analysis, you heard different terms such as difficulty index and discrimination index. Okay? So, in this table, you will notice that the parts of this item analysis program are decision. How do we decide whether revise or reject or accept? Okay? So, items. So, I have here correct answers, total number, difficulty index, interpretation. I have here high group, total percentage, low group, total percentage, discrimination index, and interpretation. So, in my uh, first video, I have actually uh, informed you about the high group and the low group. Okay, we will start with that. Okay, so I should notice here, look at the colored uh, table. The colored table here, the column, are the only part which you can edit. Okay, so here you cannot, you cannot edit the decision, you cannot edit the item, the correct answers, the difficulty index, you cannot edit those parts because that will appear automatically once you write the correct values. Okay, in my previous video, we divided the class into two, into two groups, okay? High group with 11 and low group with 11. So let's fill that out. High group, 11, and low group, 11 students. Okay, see? Automatically, nag-change yung mga values. Nagkaroon na agad ng interpretation, pero wala pa siya dito sa decision. Okay? Now, let us say that item number one, okay, high between high group and low group, let us say, out of 11 members in a high group, let's say 11 got the correct answers. While in a low group, there are 10 who got the correct answers. Look how uh, things has changed, okay? Then I have to add here, total number, since I have 11 for low group and 11 for high group, I will fill out, uh, I will... Uh, type here 22. Okay, see? And when I type, everything has changed. And now, all the interpretations are possible. But of course, since I'm, I I only fill, fill out item number one, I will only consider item number one. Okay, so look at the, the first, the difficulty index. The difficulty index is 0.95, which is very easy. And we know that if an item is very easy, we reject. So that's why in the decision, it is already, already rejected. Let us check the discrimination index. The discrimination index is 0 0.09, which is low. And we know that in our initial video, I informed you that if it is low in discrimination index, we also reject the, uh, the item. Okay, so whether the rejection is because of the difficulty index or the discrimination index, automatically, the, the decision here will be rejected. Okay, now let's assume, let's say there are only 10 who got the correct answers for the high group and around 5 in the low group. Okay, so when I type 10 and 5, look how the program changed. Let us see. Under the difficulty index, it's 0.68, so optimum difficulty or average. And the discrimination index is 0.45 or high. We know that a high discrimination and that optimum difficulty is a good option. That is why the decision is retain or revise. Why not just retain? How come the decision is retained or revised? Okay? Because you still need to include the options, remember. 
if this if item number two is a good option you still have to check if the options are good so at least dapat may sumagot sa bawat option kapag may option na wala as in zero walang sumagot doon sa particular option na yon then you change that particular option kasi it's not a good option pero kung mayroong at least one Okay na yun, pero mas maganda kung balance. Halimbawa, there are 22 students. 15 ang tama. And then, or sabi na, 14 ang tama. Yung 8, tagtuto dun sa bawat items. Yun ang magandang item. Okay? Pero at least may one sa bawat isang option that can be considered already as a good option. Okay? Uh, let's have one more. Let's say, medyo nahirapan ng mga bata. Let's say, Four only for the high group and only one for the low group. What happened? The decision is or the, the item is difficult, which is also good. And the discrimination index is moderate, which is also good. That's why it is approved, retain, or revise. Okay? So I will do it intentionally. Let's say for the high group, Five, but for the low group, there are six. See, in the high group, there are only five students out of 11 got the correct answer. But in the low group, six out of 11 got the correct answer for that particular item. So we know that it's not a good option because we, based on my discussion, my previous video, a good option must be answered well by the high group, but must not be answered well by the low group. Okay? So, see, when I click, the discrimination index is very low. Even if it is optimum difficult, okay, as you notice here, the decision is reject. So, when you reject, what's the cause? The rejection, the cause of rejection is not because of the difficulty of the item, but because of very or low discrimination index. Okay, so in short, with this program, using this Excel program, once you divide the scores from high group and low group, all you have to do is encode how many got the correct answers for each item and then the whole uh, decision for your item analysis will already be uh, shown, okay, using this Excel program, okay? However, there are actually downloadable um, program, but I, I lost my copy. I cannot find it anymore. We're in. All you have to do is to type all the answers of the students, and then it will also generate the item analysis. In that case, you don't have to separate uh, low group and high group anymore. Okay, but I think that's I, I, I think that's just uh, uh, oh, uh, that is not uh, free uh, for e every time. Okay, there are possibility na baka ngayon may bayad na siya, no? I forgot the program. Okay, but this one that I developed is. Okay, re, re, uh, I am willing to share. So all you have to do is uh, send me an email and I will send this file to you. Okay, but I hope you can use this for your, to improve your assessment, to improve your test. Just use it for your own good, okay, for your school. Okay, I, mean, I am sharing this not for you to first make your life or your make your assessment uh Worse, but of course to make it better. All right. So all we have to do encode the correct answers for the high group and for the low group and everything. Kung ilang items man yan, actually, ito ay good for fifty items, ano? So the program. However, if your items, if your test is more than fifty items, you cannot use this anymore for fifty one onwards. What you can do is you can let's say your items is one to one hundred. So you may have two pages, okay? First page, 1 to 50, and then another file, 51 to 
100 so that you can make use of this program. Okay, so I hope you like this video and I hope uh, yeah, you understand this particular program. In case you encountered some problem, just send me a message and I am willing to deal uh, to uh, help you in this uh, particular video. Okay, so once again, uh, thank you for uh, watching this video and good day to all of you.